All right, welcome everyone. We are going to run through a demo of the CryptoTrader.tax application and show you how easy it can be to file and report all of your cryptocurrency trades and transactions with the platform to make for easy tax reporting. So we're going to sign in into CryptoTrader.tax as you can see and it will lead us into the web app. I'll just be moving this screen around a bit through here and there's five steps to tax reporting. Okay, we're gonna just start by selecting our exchanges and the cryptocurrency platforms that we've used, you know, throughout our cryptocurrency lifetime. And you're gonna move forward, click on to step two when you are ready to continue. All right, as you can see now, we're going to import our trade history. So the application will automatically grab all of your historical data if you choose to import via the API. You can also import all of your transaction history just by uploading the CSV files that Binance and other exchanges export to you. As you can see, these guides walk through exactly where you can get all that data. Or again, you can just write create your own Binance API key and then it'll automatically consume the Binance API and pull in that data. <clears throat> so right here we're going to show you what it looks like if we were going to be just uploading a CSV file. So here we go. Here's some Binance data for this. And there we go. Three trades have been imported. Looks good. So there's Binance. Coinbase, again, a similar concept. You can go one of two routes. You can connect to your Coinbase account or you can upload your transaction history files that Coinbase exports to you. It's a little bit quicker just to connect to your account and you can check out exactly how to do these by walking through all of our help guides that we link in the app to show you exactly how you can go and grab those files or how you can connect your account. So again, we're going to quick upload the Coinbase CSV and there we go, 20 trades imported. So we're slowly just adding all of our transactions into the application, right? We're importing them all in one by one. It's important to get all of your data across all of your exchanges. As you can see here, 217 trades imported from Coinbase Pro. Looks good. And so that's the step of right importing your data from your exchanges. We're going to move on to other transactions. Now here in the app, you can include things like your cryptocurrency mining data. I'm just deleting what I used to have in here. Your cryptocurrency mining data, any cryptocurrency you, you've received from airdrops or a gift from your friend, right? These are forms of incoming transactions, cryptocurrency that you've received in your wallets, um, right, without necessarily purchasing it on an exchange. So for incoming transactions, you can add them one by one, as you can see here. And, you know, just type in BTC, I received it from yada yada as a gift from a friend, right? Maybe that's what I want to do. Or you can simply import all of your transactions. Let's say you're a miner and you have a bunch of them. You can just import them with a simple CSV upload. So I already have some of these prepared, so we're going to go to the incoming transactions, CSV that I made. And there we go, three incoming transactions were imported, looks good. And as you can see, I have some mined Bitcoin here. Um, I have a gift that I received and then some mined Litecoin. So that's incoming transactions. Now let's go over to outgoing transactions. You can use this for if you ever gave a gift to your friend in Bitcoin or paid a merchant for goods or services using cryptocurrency, right? This is a form of an outgoing a spending transaction and you want to include that in the system. Again, we're going to import a CSV of those outgoing transactions. I have it right here and you're gonna see, there we go, two outgoing transactions imported, looks good. One is a Bitcoin payment that I use to, let's say, buy a new computer or something. And here's a gift I gave someone some Ethereum need to account for that. So there you have it, that's importing trades and is including your other transactions, which brings us to step four, right? We get to review all of our data and make sure everything looks accurate. 
you can see here I'm reviewing these are all my coinbase buys that we're getting into my coinbase pro data it's all sorted by timestamp right everything gets normalized when you import it into the system and I can go ahead on this page and just make sure it all looks correct if it does and nothing hiccups you can go into the create your tax reports right and it's going to automatically segregate all of your trades by tax years and you can go ahead and run those reports I traded in basic attention token here so I want to clarify that and you can see for each report and each tax season I'm getting a different cryptocurrency tax report so let's say I only need to report 2018 or you know I've already reported my 2017 transactions well then I can simply just view my 2018 report and here you have it it breaks down everything in US dollars which is the tricky part about when you're doing cryptocurrency trading right is that everything's quoted in other cryptocurrencies it's hard to track down those cost basis and fair market value data but here the application is normalizing everything and it's going to break down everything in USD so you can see your total net gain you can also go ahead and jump into your end of year positions report see what your remaining cost basis is are in the, your outstanding holdings right you can go in and check out an audit trail which breaks down every single taxable event and how the application calculated that gain or loss where it got the data what your cost basis was etc so that you know for your accountants or your records you have all of this information you can even then go ahead and send this tax report to your accountant very easily so that they can finish your taxes and include your cryptocurrency data you can easily just import this entire report into TurboTax online right we've built partnerships with them all you have to do is download that TurboTax online form right there and that's going to upload right into <clears throat> TurboTax, if you use them um, every year, here you go, teamed up with CryptoTrader.tax, great. So now you can include your cryptocurrency data and information very easily with your TurboTax profile. Or you can just go ahead and download all of these reports if you want to maybe file everything yourself. So that's really CryptoTrader.tax at a on an, on an, at a nutshell I can't even talk um, if you guys have any questions feel free to leave them in the comment section below again that was just a high-level demo it does do a little bit you know more than that but just keeping it high level here any questions feel free leave them below have a good one guys take care